How's it going, everyone? Brew United here on a Saturday talking about five JRPGs that you must play. Now, this is a video in direct response to Generation Pixel's five JRPGs that you have to play, and he picked five great ones. So I actually said, hey, let's challenge myself and see if I can pick another five that I would want to play as well. So that's what this video is going to be about. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so in Generation Pixel's list, he picked Final Fantasy VII. What an iconic game, and one that's really hard to one-up. I'm not going to say this is one-upping that, but what I would say is I have a huge attachment to Final Fantasy VII, but I also have a huge attachment to Final Fantasy II in North America, or Final Fantasy IV, as it's known in the Super Famicom system. So I actually have both. I have the Super Famicom version of Final Fantasy IV, and we're going to show some gameplay from that. And I also have the North American release of Final Fantasy II. Now, they're nearly identical, except for uh, some attacks. And also, I actually think that fans did a better translation job on Final Fantasy IV. So let's see what you think. Just a little bit of gameplay here. So groundbreaking for the time, and one of my favorite games from Final Fantasy. We see Kane and Cecil heading outside of the castle. And... Uh, the graphics back then were just absolutely mind-blowing. So Generation Pixel picked Suikoden 2. Really difficult to one-up that one as well. There is one that I feel could hold its weight against almost all the JRPGs that I have. And that one is Lunar. Lunar 1 and Lunar 2. I'm actually going to go with Lunar 1 for this one. Maybe I'll save Lunar 2 for a different one. What an amazing... JRPG with cutscenes that also rival any type of anime that you would want to watch. Really great. And when you know it's from working designs, you know it's a fantastic game. I actually have not played a game that they've brought to the US that was not amazing. So I'm going to say my number whatever is <laughs> Lunar 1. So another game Generation Pixel chose was another fan favorite of mine. I mean, he really knocked it out of the park with his top five. And, you know, hats off to him because he and I both love JRPGs. We talk a lot about these different uh, games. And I've got to go with his Breath of Fire 3, which, again, wow. I'm going to go with Wild Arms. I don't know if you've ever played this. I'm not saying it's a one-for-one one again. I'm not trying to compete with him on this. You know, I, I agree with his top five, totally. I just think Wild Arms is one that I would pick of not maybe my top five, but definitely my top 10. So I'm adding his five. I'm adding my five. Again, Wild Arms. What a game. Okay, another game on his list, which I really enjoy too, is called Grandia 2. I have it on two different systems, and it's one of those games that it has so much motion to it and all the things that he talked about that really make it such a great game. I'm going to raise the game that I would not put head-to-head -head again, but one I would add to my list is Dragon Quest VIII. I love this game. The voiceovers, the acting, you've got uh, just tons going on in the game. The Dragon Quest series is one of my favorites anyway, but I think 8 deserves a special recognition. And the title of this is Dragon Quest 8, Journey of the Cursed King. Okay, so Generation Pixel rounded out his final, at least uh, completely out of order I'm doing this list, but he had five of them, right? The fifth one that I'm going to talk about is Nino Kuni 2, Wrath of the White Witch. Great game. I've actually never played it fully all the way through. I have watched my daughter play it. I've played a little bit of it, but I agree. It's an amazing game. I'm going to actually throw a little bit more old school in a system that not a lot of people had, which was actually Fantasy Star. Now, this is on the original Sega Master System. Not a lot of people played it. It was groundbreaking for the time. We're spanning a lot of systems here and a lot of different JRPGs. I think Fantasy Star is one of the ones in the top of my list. I'm not putting them in any order, but... It's definitely up there, right? So now you have five from Generation Pixel. You have five from me. He mentioned five fantastic ones. Hopefully you think the same of mine. And if not, pop it in the comments. What do you think? And if you haven't already, please hop down into the description. See the link to Generation Pixel's channel. Also the video that he did. That he did a great job on it. And really hard to put another five on top of that. And actually this video made me think, 
I think I may even have another five on top of this. So let's leave it here for today. I hope you enjoyed everyone. I hope you're safe. I hope you're well. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.